Welcome, in this wood carving knife overview video, we will be looking at the Harley knives from Pinewood Forge. So first, let's take a look and talk about the blades on these knives. Uh, you'll notice they come in two sizes. There is a one and a half inch and a two inch uh, size there, pretty similar in shape. Uh, flat cutting edge there um, with a good uh, angle down to the tip for fine details. You can see these come uh, polished to a, a mirror finish um, and uh, really, really well crafted, finely, finely detailed blades. Um, let me turn them to the side here and I can show you one of my favorite things about these. Um, you'll notice looking at the the thickness of the blades down here they're not the thinnest blades ever but man they come to such a perfect point such a perfect tip up there they're a little bit thicker down at the base a little bit um really thin and narrow at the at the top for for details and what that means is they're they're excellent one knife carvers uh so you can really rough out uh, a piece using the the inside end of this blade, but still do really fine details at the tip. It's a really good all-around carving knife. And I'll tell you that um, every single knife I look at here comes extremely sharp. Uh, if you ever want to feel a really, really extremely sharp knife, these arrive uh, just absolutely um, razor sharp and uh, perform really, really well right out of right out of the the box. So these are really excellent blades. I like both of them. The uh, I kind of prefer to do detail work with a smaller knife than the longer one, but they both work great, both for um, roughing and details. Uh, so let's take a look at the handles. You can see they both have a pretty typical kind of oval-shaped uh, handle. It's simple, but it's effective. Um, when I got them anyway, uh, the... The one and a half inch one was uh, coming in this darker wood and the two inch one was coming in this lighter wood. But you can see that grain, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, very smooth, not too slippery. Um, I would say a little bit on the smaller side. If you have smaller hands, they'd probably work fairly well for you. Um, if you have really big hands, they might feel a little small for you, but not, not too bad at all. Um, and that's kind of a universal shape that, that I think appeals to, to most people and works well. Uh, and then I'll just note on the, on the back here, they're not overly, overly thin or overly wide. That's going to be about, um, a little bit over about, about three quarters of an inch wide. So pretty, pretty standard width and, uh, should fit most carvers hands pretty well, I would think. So next, let's take a look at the extras. So one nice thing about these knives is they do come with uh, sheaths, and they come with these kind of hard, hard plastic sheaths that have been kind of um, shaped to them. Uh, you can see that. And so they will slide right in there and pop in, and uh, I like that. I like that. It comes with a sheath. Um, and it's it's ready to go protected i mean it's nothing's gonna mess with it in there uh, so that's a great little extra that um that you get with those uh, but all in all uh i would say if you can uh, afford and get one of these knives they're they're excellent performers excellent single um carving knives uh for just doing a whole carving from start to finish and i'll just do a quick demo to close the video and we'll look at a couple different things here so um i mean these will just take that wood away like it's not there uh, very strong again using that base of the blade to make cross cuts um, big roughing cuts uh, works really well i haven't had to do anything to sharpen these other than um, strop them uh, but you can use that tip to make clean Stop cuts, little detail cuts. Works really well. And your standard, you know, push cuts off the side are just going to glide right through there. So 
a very similar performance between the two. Um, just comes down to preference for the length, and if you're going to be roughing more, the two-inch one is a little bit better. But you can do light roughing with this one, and you can do details with that one. Both excellent choices. Great knives if you can get your hands on them.